Blue Gnome's 24 Shore technology has recently been shown to significantly increase pregnancy rates in IVF patients. Professor Alan Handyside is head of pre-implantation genetics at Blue Gnome. He is well known in the field for his extensive work with Robert Winston on the first pre-implantation genetic diagnosis pregnancies. Many couples struggle to get pregnant and turn to IVF. Although IVF rates have improved over the years, success rates have remained low. New research has now shown that screening embryos prior to implantation can increase pregnancy rates. The importance of this report uh, from Yang et al, based at the Pacific Reproductive Center in California and their colleagues in Beijing, I think is threefold. Firstly, it's the first randomized control trial of 24-sure technology for copy number analysis of all 24 chromosomes, and the first indeed to show a significant clinical benefit per cycle started. The second important aspect is that whereas we'd normally associate antibody screening with advanced maternal age, they chose to look at patients in a much younger age group of good prognosis and still saw a significant benefit in terms of using the technology. And finally, it's interesting because they chose to only transfer a single embryo. And single embryo transfer is now very important because one of the bad side effects, if you like, of IVF can be multiple pregnancies. And so anything that improves the pregnancy rates following elective single embryo transfer is actually very important. The approach they took was to randomize a series of patients into two groups. In the first group, they cultured the embryos to the blastocyst stage and then selected a single embryo on the basis of morphology alone. In the second group, they cultured embryos to day five and to the blastocyst stage as with the first group, but then biopsied those embryos and performed array CGH overnight allowing them to select both on the basis of morphology and on the basis of chromosome aneuploidy. So remarkably, they discovered that 45% of the embryos in which they uh, performed the embryo biopsy and screened them using the 24-sure technology were actually aneuploid. And when they replaced a single euploid embryo in that group of patients, the pregnancy rate increased from 41% to 69%. The question whether we should screen all embryos, I think, is certainly an interesting one. And what this study shows is that we should certainly consider screening the embryos of younger patients because of this high level of aneuploidy.